Hello students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing fine even in the ongoing crisis. Probably the truest thing about life is that it just moves on. So even in this lockdown days, we will have to try to lead a better life with much enthusiasm and hope. So whatever the condition is, we will try to remain strong. Okay, uh, I had to mute you all so that we can have uh, a better class. We will, we will, I will share the platform to you in the last few minutes, and then you will have the opportunity to express yourself. Okay. Now I just want to move to the move to our class. I'm going to share the screen. You can see an image. It's, a, it's an image of Albert Einstein, famous uh, German scientist. He, has a, he had a quote. A quote is, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. So we'll have to move on our life, whatever the condition is. And as a student, your duty is to study so rather being depressed and annoyed, you just can do your job. Okay. So uh, you have already studied narration. Today we are going to just revise. Okay. Uh, Sadman, can you hear me? Sadman. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, sir. Waalaikum salam. Assalamualaikum, sir. Waalaikum salam. Okay. So let's move on to the next slide. What is narration? You already know. In in English language, the act of Reporting the speech of a speaker is called narration or reported speech. So to express the speaker's message, we use two ways. There are two ways we can express ourselves. There are direct speech and there is indirect speech. Okay. So difference, let's look at the difference between direct speech and indirect speech. Direct speech is the reporting of a speech without making any changes. And the statement said by the speaker should be in his or her own language under inverted comma. So in direct speech, there is no change. You are just quoting the person. Yes, you can record your class, you don't, uh, uh, live if you want. Indirect speech, the reporting of his speech of the, of the speaker, changing pronounced tense words in uh, narrator's own language. So when we want to express something, express someone's speech from our own point of view, we use indirect speech. For example, uh, example of direct speech. Mother said to me, I have baked a cake for you, a very, uh, beautiful sentence to hear. We wait uh, for our mothers to say sentences like this. So I have baked a cake for you. The sentence in within an interval, uh, inverted comma is direct speech. On the other hand, mother told me that she had baked a cake for me. Okay. That's an example of indirect speech. Let's move to the next slide. So in any direct speech or indirect speech, there are two things also. One is reporting verb, another is reported speech. You already know these things, many of you. Uh, we are just revising them. What is reporting verb? The verb 
used to begin speaker's statement is called reporting verb. Mother said to me, I have baked a cake for you. The highlighted part said to, said is the reporting verb. Reported speech, the statement of the speaker is called reported speech. Mother said to me, I have baked a cake for you. Here, this highlighted part is an example of reported speech. You can uh, keep a screenshot if you want. Let's go to the next slide. So how direct narration changes to indirect narration? Uh, for example, direct narration, mother said to me, I have baked a cake for you. It has been changed to mother told me that she had baked a cake for me. So what, what are the changes? Number one, reporting verb said to has changed to told. So there is uh, on change in reporting verb said to has become told. Inverted commas are gone. No inverted comma in uh, indirect speech. Instead of inverted comma, we have uh, put conjunction that the pronoun has been changed i has become she tense has also been changed have become which is in present perfect tense has changed into past perfect had baked yep yes arafat tamim that's a past perfect sentence okay Let's move to the next slide. So rules of changing speech. Uh, the, the few things we need to consider while changing speech. Number one, person. First person, second person, third person, uh, which works as a subject or object or positive as well. Type of sentences, assertive, interrogative, imperative, optative, explanatory. These are the type of sentences which are uh, important to change speech. Tense, present, past, future. Models, the verbs which show possibility or ability. These are models like can, could, shall, should, may, might. Adverbs and demonstratives. We also need to uh, change adverbs and demonstratives. Adverbs like uh, now, here, yesterday, today. And demonstratives like these, that, okay. Uh, I will unmute you, Shafkat, or just give me a few minutes. So let's look at person. In an indirect speech, the person changes according to the speaker when referring himself or herself or a third person. So let's look at how person is changed. If there is first person, the first person of reported speech changes according to the subject of the reporting verb. If the subject of reporting verb is in masculine gender, the, sub, the person will be he. Or, or if it's in feminine gender, the person will be she. For example, Mahi said, I cannot be with you. Okay, Mahi. I hope you will try to be with me from next time. So Mahi said, I cannot be with you. Here, I is the person in the direct speech. And since this is first person, it will change according to the subject of reporting verb. Said is the, uh, said is the reporting verb and subject of this reporting verb is Mahi. So for Mahi, we will use he. Here he refers to uh, our subject, Mahi. Okay. S second person of reported speech change according to the object of reporting verb. So when there is an object in the reporting verb, so what is object? Object uh, is the uh, thing or person that answers to the verb when I ask question using who or what or whom for example i said to my brother whom did i say 
my brother. So my brother is the object in this reporting verb. I said to my brother here, my brother is the object. In the previous example, there was no object. My said there was no uh, visible object. I said to my brother, you should stay. So here you second person, which is in inverted comma, direct speech, it will change according to the object of the reporting verb, my brother, not I. So he will change. I told my brother that he should stay. Here, he refers to my brother, not I. Okay. Next example, third person of reported speech has no change. So uh, if there is a third person, a name of any person, it, there will be no change of subject or pronoun. Alif said, Farjat is an intelligent boy. I'm not sure whether Alif will say that ever or not. Alif said that Farjat was an intelligent boy. So uh, here, Farjat is the third person. And that's why there is no change. I, I, I don't need to say he. If you say Alif said that he was an intelligent boy, he, the he will refer to Alif. So I'll have to keep the subject um, for Jad. Okay, I'm going to uh, unmute you now. If you want to ask something, you can do that now. You can unmute yourself. Yes? Shadman, any question? Are you, get, yes, are, you, are you getting me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, you can say that you have to 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 say We'll try to speak in English. We'll, 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 we'll make mistakes. That's okay. If there is no object in the after say it in the direct oh. speech, we don't need to use the object in the indirect speech. But if we write Alif said to me, yes, is it right? Yeah, you can. I'm thinking that he is saying it to me. Yes, mm -hmm. Alif so, said to me. <laughs> okay, so you can guess the person is telling to you. Otherwise, how will you write this? Or otherwise, how will you tell this? So. Um, if there is no object, there will be me um, as an invisible object. Okay, Anurudha? For example, Mahi said, I, I cannot be with you. So here, uh, yes, me is kind of invisible as an object. Yes. Or you can I also have... say, Mahi uh, said that the, the listener, the listener could not be with him. Okay? Sir, I yes. have a question. Yes, sir. Alif. On the third, se yes, sir, on the third sentence, Alif said Farjad is an intelligent boy. Yes. Here, Farjad is an intelligent boy is a present indefinite tense. Indefinite tense, yes. So, on the indirect speech, I will turn it into past, past indefinite. indefinite. Yes, it, it, because uh, it's not universal truth, it, it, it may change. Hmm? Yes, it, sir. Was, it was your opinion. Uh, to me, he can, he can be more than yeah. intelligent, so it changes. So, that's why. Uh, the tense has changed here. If you said, Alif said, um, we are mortal, then you would, would say, Alif said that uh, we are mortal. There would be no change of tense. Okay, Alif? Yes, sir. So I'm going sir, to. Sir, yes. sir but while uh, Farzad is alive, so why I'm using was? Because you said this before. For example, last year you said this. Hmm. Because Alif said, this part shows the event happened before. The reporting verb Alif said shows that the saying that you did happened before. So it's now in past. Sorry. But, but inverted, in inverted comma, you said Farjat is. It's in present tense because I'm just quoting your speech. Okay? So if, if I say this at present, at this moment. Suppose you, you say this. And okay, then you will have to say Shapkat says or Shapkat will say Farjat is an intelligent boy. There, then do you, then we won't have to change the verb. Okay. When okay, sir. Okay. Sir, right. don't the verb change in narration changing like come? Yes, there are some ex exceptions like oh. come changes to oh. go. 
Uh, so, depending on the meaning. Now then, now then. Yes, those are adverbs. So, so it's not adverbs. Yes. Thank uh, you. So. So how does um, uh, contractions coming. works like uh, works as indirect speech? What how does contraction works? Uh, like uh, here you mentioned like. He could not be with me. So, so can I use he couldn't be with me or like he can be with me? And how does that work in indirect speech? Uh, so I will we'll discuss this later. Can changes into could. But if there was could, could re would remain the same. And if you kept, uh, if you kept the contract short, even looking at the contraction, you can understand uh, what does the contraction, uh, contraction mean. For example, I mean, look here. For example, I could follow you. So what does this contraction refer to here? I had or I would? Uh, I could follow you. Or, or I, I would follow you, yes. So, so yeah. for would or could, in indirect speech, there will be no change. There will be, he would follow me, something like that. But if it would be like, contraction out, Followed, followed you. Can you see the writing? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Then, I, I had followed Yes. Here, alt contraction refers to I had because the verb has been changed into V3. I had followed you. To change this, yes. To change this, you will have to write the same that he had followed me. Okay? Are you clear? Yeah, I'm clear. Yes. Good to hear Tamil's voice. Yes. Uh, good uh, pronunciation. Sir, I have a question. Yes. Sir, if the reporting verb is in future tense, future yes. indefinite tense. Yes, there, so, will be, there will be no change in the reported speech of the regarding verb. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Okay. But in most of the cases, we, we, we use past tense for reporting verb because when you want to mention someone, it's already in, in past. Okay, we don't know what someone is going to say in future. Some cases, for some cases, we know that um, the uh, chairman is going to say this. It's in future, but in most of the cases, we just mention our past. Look at the news. What do we see? Do we see the future events? We only see the past events. Past events. Okay, thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Let's move to the next slide. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll leave. Let's move to the next slide. Is Farjad here? Why is Farjad uh, present today? Sir. So Sir, Farjad, I Farjad aren't, aren't you feeling tired of not doing any, uh, doing not being able to make any noise or karikuri in class? No, sir. <laughs> aren't you missing your friends a lot? Yes. Farjad, are you, are you missing your friends? Do you miss your teachers at all? No, sir. I'm happy. <laughs> but I, I miss you all. I, I was thinking when I I was given the uh, responsibility to be your house tutor, house tutor of Joshua House, then I was yes, thinking sir. that uh, I would have to talk a, with Tamim, Farjad, Ara, uh, those who work. I forgot our class teacher's name. teachers, I also miss the sir. Sir, uh, sir, in the chart, yes. in the first a uh, chart the subject object and no are in the capital letter why sir just to get your attention you mentioned it just to get your attention when uh, um, what happens in headlight uh, sorry um, headline of newspaper the words are in capitalized form because um, the newspaper editors know that you are not going to read all the lines in most cases so headlines are there to attract you Okay, for example, a headline might be Sakib is dead. After reading the Sakib article, you can, dead. yes, after reading the article, you can know that Sakib was shot in shooting by Misha Shodan. Sir, which Sakib? Our actor. So, Sakib, Sakib, so, so, so highlighted the words are there, highlighted the words are there to catch your attention. Okay, so let's move to the next slide. Types of sentences. So there are five types of sentences, but since you have only assertive and interrogative in your happy exam, we are going to discuss about them, okay? Assertive sentence. Anuruddha said to me, I am busy now. Okay, when Farjad 
told Anirudho, Anirudho, can you give me the um, cluster in? He said that probably. Okay, so that's in direct speech. It will change into indirect speech as Anirudho told me that he was busy then. So what are the changes? Um, Sajid, are you here? Sajid? Yes, sir. So what are the changes here? Uh, say, yes, say, say, to, say to has become? Say has become told. Told, then? The comma, comma and the inverted comma we have put has become conjunction that that yes then uh, the the present the subject tense the, the first person of the reported speech i has become he yes has become he i, I who is i here i refers to onirudha onirudha yep is the spelling correct onirudha of your name yes sir perfect so, good guess <laughs> so, uh, I has become he here. Sir. And what are the other changes, Sajid? Uh, the present indefinite tense has become past yes. indefinite tense. Excellent. And, and the, anything else? And the, the adver uh, adverb of time, adver of time, adverb of now time now has become? Has become then. Then. Why is the change of adverb of, adverb of time here now? Why now has been changed? What's wrong with keeping now, Sadman? Because now, because only you told it before, and I am uh, able and uh, yes. someone you, is telling it. To I am, okay, I am Shab telling this at now. Okay, Shabkat. Okay. Why now has been changed to then? Um, sir, um, because uh, now was uh, now was told at the past, and yes. I am telling this. Now, that's why it's then. So now is invalid now. Okay. Thank you. Sir, uh, have you looked at Shafka goggles? Yes. Uh, he, he, is, he is he, looking he, like a worker in a call center. No, no, he's using extra production. So we should appreciate him. <laughs> Interrogative sentence. Uh, number two. Joe said to me, are you busy now? No, oh, sorry, number two, one. Jover said to me, are you busy now? Is Jover here? Yes, sir. Oh, I thought you wouldn't talk as you don't much in class. <laughs> okay, Jover. Uh, so Jover asked me if I was busy then. So Jover, tell me, what are the changes here? Say to me and ask me. Yes, say to has become asked. Reporting verb has changed. For comma, comma. Cat. yes. Inverted comma. There is if, or you can also put whether. Wow. Okay, Rafi. What are the other changes? Jubair, can you still hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, so here sir, you. Sir, are you understanding my voice? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Do you want to sing? Okay, do you sing? Do you want to sing a song now? <laughs> okay. I can so, sing a song. No Shapkat is always ready. Are you busy now? So here you has become I. Uh, sir. Yes. So sorry for disturbance, but I have a question. Yes, go on, Alif. Sir, can you tell me the uses of if and whether? Okay, uh, if has different uses. For we, we use mainly if in conditional sentences. For example, Alif, um, if you follow my instruction, I will like you. Or um, if you help me, I will help you. Uh, if you uh, paid attention. Sorry, look at Anirudha, sir. Yes, I I saw him. Uh, if you helped me earlier, I would help you as well. So these are the conditional sentences, which are based on condition. Hmm? If it happened, that would happen. So for, uh, for conditional sentences, we use if mainly, but we can also use if to talk about uh, possibility or probability. Or Bangladesh, uh, I mean, uh, we movie to the Kitsikina, 
এই যে সেটা এই কিনার বোঝানোর জন্য উই ক্যান ইউজ ইফ অর ওয়েদার বাট देयर ইজ আ লিটল বিট ডিফারেন্স ফর एग्जांपल ইউ ক্যান সে আই ডোন্ট নো ইফ হি হ্যাজ লস্ট হিজ বুক আমি জানি না যে সে তার বইটা হারিয়েছে কিনা ইউ ক্যান অলসো সে আই ডোন্ট নো ওয়েদার হি লস্ট ইট অর নট কোনটা জানি না সো উই ইউজ ইফ অর ওয়েদার ফর দিস কাইন্ড অফ কেস আলিফ আর ইউ ক্লিয়ার Sir, can we use? Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir, can we use? Can we use whether instead of if and vice versa? Yes, you can. Both are. Sir, users of. In actually, for whether we can we can bring or, but for if we just put just one option. Uh, both are expressions, so we can actually use both of them. Yes. So, Robi uh, said to me. How are you? Uh, is Ruby here? Yes, Ruby, yes, have you have, have you got thin or are you still cute like before? <laughs> I'm still cute like before. Mashallah. So Ruby said to me, "How are you?" Ruby asked me how I was. So Ruby, tell us what are the changes here? Sir said to become asked. Asked, yes. And, and when there is wh like, questions, for example, who, which, what, how, we we won't use if or whether. So why, when will we use if or whether when there is auxiliary verb like are, okay. am, is, are? Then we will use yeah. if. Okay. But for wh, we'll just keep it as it is. So Ravi asked me how I was. Okay, uh, uh, Araf, Araf, are you here? Araf Rajwan. Sir. Yes. Sir, um, the exact. Uh, Sir, what is the exact meaning of rather? Borum. Jamon. Uh, uh, sorry. Bangla we bolte kela borum. For example, uh, now it's 10 a.m. You shouldn't sleep now. Rather, you should get up to have your breakfast and re get ready to be. Uh, prepared for a study or classes rather refers to instead okay, uh, okay. okay. so uh, tamim yes sir uh, if uh, i say uh, robi asked me how robi asked me how i was will it be wrong um no it's not wrong because uh, he asked me how i was so it's a condition so it can be wrong and it yeah, can so also be like uh, you can also ask me if whether roby asked me how, how everything was going or uh, how everything is so i think it's right yes it's right so can i say uh, roby asked me how was i roby yeah, asked me wrong. how was it? why I it's think wrong, it's wrong. Yes, you are right. But why is it wrong? Uh, it's wrong because um, we can't put the subject um, before yes. the tense. Yeah. So we before we the verb the, in assertive yeah, before the verb in assertive sentence or in regular sentence. So in regular sentence, there comes subject, verb, object, um, yes. coins, uh, uh, serial. So since now it's not an integral sentence. It has become an assertive. So first, I will have subject, then verb. Okay, then you are as you, quite right. As we are also as we are also asking a question, so mm -hmm. we should put um, we should we should put uh, the put the subject be, uh, after the wh question. So it's yes. wrong because I think you got my point. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So our this slide is done. Let's move to the next slide. Yes, Shabka. Is there any question containing subject at last? Um, no. Uh, passive voice. In the passive voice. Yes. In, uh, even in active voice, you can say, uh, who are you? Here, you use the subject. Because R uh, refers to you. Sir, any assertive sentence? Uh, 
yes for example uh, you can say let me write these are called inversion what does inversion mean tamim inversion Inversion means that regular connector ruler by the gate of connection high. So that's inversion. The one another regular rule of the subject as well. Therefore, object as well. Sorry, verb as well. Object as well. SBO. It bit edge of the ultra high or shadow on the shadow to inversion. The one I'm both the body. Tamim Tamim is happy. This sentence follows the regular rule. Subject, Tamim, verb is happy is not object here. Uh, it, is, it is still follows the rule. But if I say it is, so, it is extension. Yes, it's an extension. If I say so, am I. So here, this part is an inversion so am i where in assertive sentence the subject has come at the end of the sentence i don't need to repeat the sentence tamim is happy i am also happy i don't need to say that i can just add so am i sir, if I, like tag. Sir, yes sir, if i said so me too no is it right no, no, because no, so and two kind of um, mean the same thing. So why, why will you repeat? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, and why did we use so am I? Can't we use so I am? No, that's why it's inversion. Hello. Yes, uh, we only we can only say so am I. Yes, sir. Yes, for, there can be other examples like um, Alif is not uh, so I'm happy. dishonest. Lucky. I live dishonest now. Lucky, I guess. Is not, yes. It's in negative form. Alif is not dishonest. It's It also follows the regular pattern, subject, verb, then if I want to say I'm your I'm your design, it's not of my mobile, nor am I. Subject comes at the end of the sentence. So these are just some examples of inversion. Okay. So, so what does norma we can move mean forward. Norman what is the Bengali meaning of nor? I'm Bangla means neither. 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 Nor neither same. Since only to ask the Bangla. It will say Amiona. Sir, sir, can I say Amiona? Yes, Rafi. Sir, can I sir, can I say I'm not I? No. Ain't I? No. <laughs> you can say Alif is not dishonest. I am also not dishonest. Or uh, I'm not dishonest too. Or nor am I. You can make the sentence short by telling this, nor am I. Okay. So we are done here. So tense. We have six minutes. Yes, we have only a few minutes left. For tense, if the tense of reporting verb is present or future tense, then the tense of reported speech will not have no change. So we discussed this before. Jodi tomar reporting verb thake jemon ekhane chilo. Anila says present tense. Anila will say future tense. Egulo jono want remains once there is no change of tense shudhumatro subject a person change her karone first person theke third person har karone first tense jog hoyeche want to once hoyeche kintu but kono change tense change hoyni similarly i will say uh, here i am determined to finish the book today uh, there is no so but why as i mentioned before because it's not in past tense so you don't need to change the uh, tense actually it hap it didn't happen okay when reporting verb is in past and future form it will not change in no uh, in, in, in present and in future if it's in past it will change okay Alip? 
Okay. Let's move to the next slide. If the reporting verb is in past tense, the, then the tense of reported speech will change. Present indefinite will change into past indefinite. Present continuous, past continuous, present perfect, past perfect, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous. Past mm -hmm. uh, for example, mother said, Tamim is taking a nap. It's in present continuous tense. So in indirect speech, it will be mother said that Tamim was taking a nap. What does nap mean? Alif. Short sleep. Yes. When short sleep. Sleeping, yes. sleeping for a short time. Yes, excellent. When do we actually take nap? At night? When we feel sad. After, 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 after having lunch. lunch. Having lunch, actually, yes. After what what, what do we say uh, nap in our uh, language? Do we have any word for that word? We, uh, I guess we don't. I want to only to believe hot gum. Hot gum. Hot gum. Do you put a gum to all in a shit? I do put a gum to tell me rather than the shotgun. What is the matter? Sir, I make a gum. I said, Sir, it is the mask doing thing in a Spanish family having a they always sleep at. So different different countries different have different culture. Okay. Sir, Khudra Tantra. Sir, is it not? Sir, is it Tamim? No. Yes. Yeah. Probably. Tamim is not that bad. So past indefinite will change past perfect. Past continuous will change into past perfect continuous. Past perfect will remain same. Past perfect. Uh, past perfect continuous will remain same. Past perfect continuous. For example, Sajid said to me. I have been studying since 8 a.m. So I will say, 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 Time is little bored, so don't annoy him now. Our next slide. So future indefinite. Uh, for example, I will um, follow you. I will call you when there is necessary. Um, and it will change into would, and there will be a present form of verb. So mother said, "Me too." Will be making a craft. It's in future indefinite tense. So. Instead of will, we will have would. Mother said that Mitu would be making a craft. Hmm? Shaka, what does craft mean? Craft? Uh, so something done by papers and some other instruments. Yes, good. <clears throat> Let's move to the next slide. So models. And there are some models which change. For example, shell or will in change into wood. Can changes sir, in I food. have a question, sir. Yes, go to the question. We have only one or two minutes left. Mm. Let's let's finish this slide. Let's finish this slide. So why does no sir uh, shell will, sir why does no shell will be changed to should? Uh, because should uh, signifies another meaning. When I say I should uh, I should not be late. It shows it shows something responsibility that I need to follow. Okay, yes, so sir, our, our meeting will be finished very quickly. Let's sir, finish this slide. Uh, why the same tariff is in the capital? Sir, what do you say it in the small letter? No. Yes, for S, S should be in a small letter. Thank you, Narendra. Uh, so it may rain. Jarif said that it might rain. Here, say it. Will be in a small uh, letter. Sir, can must uh, change. This is the uh, can uh, must change into could. Yes, but there are some models which won't change. For example, used to used to remain the same. Uh, Araf said that he used to swim in the river.